Next up. Let's go. Where are we going? I think we're going to uh, the Who's It What's It. Because I forget names. Uh, Brittle Hollow. this? These are meteors crashing down on Brittle Hollow. Uh, South Pole. Uh, well that's somebody's camp in it, right there. So I suppose I want to check that out. And then this is also somebody's, one of the, one of the ships, so. Right, I have my suit on. I'm not making that mistake again. At least not this time. Uh, gravity is very similar to Timber Hearth. Oh goodness, this is actually going to be a difficult one to get into, won't it? Oh, hello. From Thatch, is everyone unharmed? From Plume, no one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We were incredibly fortunate. From Thatch, this is good news at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or escape pod 3? From Felix, no, I'm, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pod's distress signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. From Felix, I'll continue calling for them. From Thatch, my gratitude... If we can... Plume. Thatch! I th the moon is approaching again. From Thatch, everyone, brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. They're certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. Uh, this is escape pod one. I believe we have now found all three escape pods. All right. We'll go here. Escape pod one, vessel has been mortally injured, sequence activated, departure, launching three, two, escape pod one, collision imminent, prepare for impact, scanning external environment, scan complete, minor structural instabilities detected, pockets of breathable air detected, adequate solar energy, hospitable. This is the escape hatch. Oof. Oops. Hmm. Well, it looks like they constructed these platforms down to the subsurface area. 
Alright, what's this say? From Plume, use caution. Black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. It's not a true black hole, though, is it? Either that or we've got very interesting biology to survive a trip through it. Very atypical black hole. Oh, jeez. Oh, phew. That was close. Alright. Plume of no. Be sure not to wander too far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we've found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. You don't say. Alright. That looks interesting. Hmm. Given concerns about our settlement stability, where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? Thatch, we need to stay close to the escape pod so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. And Plume, I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. Uh, from Felix, I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. Now we must save ourselves. From Plume, I agree. We're here because the eye's signal called to us, and we followed. If we're to find it, we need not merely survive, but thrive. In fact, this is a wise point, Plume, and eloquently made. If moving to the northern glacier will do us safer, then that is what we should do. Would it if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? Building beneath the crust again would shelter us from the volcanic moon's eruptions. All right. Oh, man. Looks like they very, very much did a lot of work down here. Alright. Which direction? We're going to the northern glacier now. I'd rather go south, I think, but... There's only so much you can really do. Probably don't want to wander too far from the influence of the crystals. I have a limited amount of oxygen as well, but I, I actually, I actually watched Andrew Hugby's play through some of this area. His last name's not Huggies, but... Oh, jeez. Goodness sake. Oh, shoot. Oh, dang. Wait, so that's gonna go to the white hole, isn't it? Huh. Shoot. Sections of stuff that come out of the white hole are from here, huh? Uh, don't quite like how this works, but... Come on, here we are. Alright. I think they have trees around here somewhere. Like I said, I was a little spoiled to this area, but I don't remember much of anything from it, really, so... And none of it made any sense to me at the time, even still. And Andrew read through things very, very quickly. One, because it's Andrew, and two, because he was just looking for the new information, which... 
Ah, here we go. There's a tree. Fresh my oxygen. Excellent. Oh, ghost matter detected. Uh, where is this ghost matter? I don't see it right now. It's probably in there. This, I want to read this after I read this one. All right, from Lamy, explanation of festivals. All the Nomai clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the festival. Felix, don't forget festivals happen every 10 years. Lamy, at some festivals, one clan's big discovery can mean all the Nomai get to advance too. Like Anona's warp core, which made it so everyone can warp long distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Our envoy was Thatch. From Lamy, a single festival could last a long, long time. Uh, we can't go because we're stuck here. But Felix says we used to go too. Right. From Solanum, formation of this universe. No one knows how this universe was made, but one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot, very dense, and tightly packed together. As this early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, particles were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars, planets. Since then, space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. This universe will keep going, getting colder and larger until one day all the stars and life they support will all die. It's scary to think about, even though Kanoe tells me it won't happen in our own lifetimes. But it will happen in someone else's, someday. I suppose it is possible that a very, very significant amount of time has passed since the Namoi, no, Nomai, whatever they're called. All right, uh, ghost matter detected nearby. Oh, there it is. Can't go that way. I can maybe go around it this way. Probably easier to go around it this way. If I really wanted to. But there's so much to explore still. Alright. That brings us up. Down. Ghost matter there as well. Dang it. Alright. Anything else of interest here? No? Hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. Uh, where was that other ghost matter? There. Is that the one I just avoided? Alright. It's no big deal. I suppose some of this could get destroyed from these meteors crashing in. Ah, jeez. What the heck? There we go. Uh, nothing of interest here. Doesn't look like it. No scrolls or anything. Alright. Ah, for goodness sake. Alright. This looks interesting. Hello. One, two. 
School District. Meltwater District. I Shrine District. Black Hole Forge District. Oh, so we're on the school district. That's where we've that's where we did all that exploration. Okay. And this probably used to be like an elevator of sorts here. Probably. And I don't really have a good method to travel. What is this? Black hole forge. I wonder if we can safely get down there and explore anything on that. Let's see, there's ghost matter there. Which we can't go through. Oh, jeez. Nope. Nope, fell into the black hole. Alright, came out the white hole. Uh, where's the white hole station? Some of the stuff coming out of here. Okay. That's why it sort of looks inverted. This is all stuff that's coming through from uh, Dark Bramble? Dark Bramble, right? I forget the names of things. Brittle Hollow. Brittle Hollow. Alright. Uh, where's the White Hole Station? I need to get, get back to that. Looks like it's over there. Wait. Uh, yep, there's another one that came through. Okay. Oh, there's there it is. There it is. There it is. I missed it. Goodness sake. Wait, whole station. Get me in there. Gotta get this rotating. Uh, it doesn't matter which way. Just need it need it to start rotating. And step on this. Oh. No, it's rotating the opposite direction. Uh yep. Eventually realign and get warped. Here we go. Goodness. Uh, what is this again? those the time means ah perfect hey what's this feldspar spare jet pack fuel all right it's annoying to schlep across the planet to the ship if i can't use my jetpack so i'm leaving this here i checked with my little scout i did two use it horn fills you burnt marshmallow and the scout's integrity reading said this piece of brittle hollow is as stable as any but who knows if the fuel is still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, wherever you're reading this note, I'm sure you've got bigger problems. All right. Hello. Hanging city. Weird. Uh, we are on the... Oh, we're on the top side of it. From Clary to our friends on Brittle Hollow. I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. 
Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design, but as long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Cassava, I hope you're reading this. From Polk. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to Whitehall Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. From Polk, don't tell Cassava. It's wonderful news. Can't wait to see the warp tower, though it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. Yeah. Interesting, interesting stuff going on here. Um, hmm. There's nothing for me to put here. Um, hmm. Gosh dang it, I wish I could look at a map of the actual... All right. Okay, hold on, here we go. Wrong button. Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis. Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? This moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend, Hollow's Lantern, for nights at a time. The nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Then I'd imagine there'd be none of us left. Oh, one more. Hypothesis, there can exist too much lava. I'd strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. All right, ah, gosh dang it, I don't, don't have a map. Alright. I want to go down, but there's not really anywhere to go do that, it seems. What's this? I do also want to get to the South Pole. More and more of this planet, it's knocked into the white hole, or black hole, rather. Oof. All right. Feel oxygen. Let's see if we can get to the South Pole. Because that has one of the answers to getting to underneath the stuff. Observatory. don't have a lot of time left, I don't think. Dang it. Alright, that's not the way in. Hello. Oh, this guy's here. I don't think I've talked to this guy yet. Where is he exactly? Uh, probably down, in here. Hello? I'm here, I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um, in that the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldspar would barely have laughed at me, I bet. 
That's the good news. Bad news, I uh, haven't found a way inside this structure yet. Door is broken, and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one. Uh, probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know that there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator and try to find a way down. Alright. Oh, yeah. Can't open this from this side. Excellent. Great. Perfect. Just what you want to see in it. Alright. Uh... Let's see if we can find this guy. Where are you at exactly? Uh, uh, looks like right here, probably. Looks like you've planted plenty of trees. Ah, dang it, we're too late. Too late to get much information out of him. If he's even here, which he should be because... I heard his signal. Where'd he go? Dang it! Ghost matter. Uh, no, wrong. Ah! What? No, not that. Scout launcher. Goodness sake, okay. Hmm. There's nothing here, huh? Broken crystal. Why did he abandon his camp? And where did he go? Hmm. side of the planet to observe the supernova. Yeah. Is that the, the so-called phantom moon? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, goodness sake. Oh. Uh. I gotta check my logs. I, 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 I've lost, I've totally lost track of what I was doing. I learned some stuff. That seems to happen every every loop so far, as I learned some stuff. Well, almost every loop. Health. Let's check this. Alright, found escape pod one, found old settlement, hanging city, quantum moon. Ruptured core. Ruptured stone looks like it exploded from the inside. And it's through ghost matter, which I can't pass by. There's so much to explore in the Hanging City. Right. Vessel was badly damaged. 
No mine constructed a temporary settlement beneath their crashed escape pod. Abandoned this settlement, overgrown concern about its stability. There's still more to explore over the, at the old settlement. They created the Hanging City. Suspended beneath Brittle Hollow's northern glacier. City is divided vertically into four districts. There's more to explore. Black Hole Forge District is the highest district in the Hanging City. No mine crafted warp cores at the Black Hole Forge before delivering them to Ash Twin. Right. Sunless City was... Oh, gosh, that's in... Hmm... There was a lot to explore in the Sunless, Sunless City still, too. There's more to explore in the White Hole Station? High Energy Lab. Which I haven't, I haven't accessed that yet, actually. No mine, brittle hollow. Observed a phantom moon that would sometimes appear in the sky. Hanging city. Hmm. Feldspar is alive. They crashed their ship and is now, of course, camping inside a huge anglerfish skeleton. Feldspar doesn't. Oh, what? How do I? Feldspar doesn't think my scout tracker is wrong when it says my scout is in two places at once. They have a theory that space doesn't work quite the same inside Dirk Bramble. Feldspar doesn't sound overly eagle, eager to return to civilization. They've been enjoying the relative peace and quiet. Feldspar documented their attempts to eat this enormous jellyfish frozen in the ice. The outside was all rubbery and tough, possibly because it insulates the jellyfish inside from getting zapped by electricity. Do I have issues with getting zapped by electricity? I don't have any issues with getting zapped by electricity. Feldspar decided to venture into the jellyfish's interior cavity to see if it tasted any better on the inside. After tasting the inside, Feldspar concluded that these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Electricity. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, no mind decided to build a larger, most sophisticated eye signal locator, Brittle Hollow South Pole. There's a path beneath the surface that leads to the observatory. Trailhead starts at Brittle Hollow's equator. Door to the observatory on the surface, but it's broken. <clears throat> Constructed a model of giant steep, revealed how an object might sink below the strong ocean current. Uh, Rebeck headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something the Noam and I were doing at the South Pole. Rebeck landed their ship near the big dome at the South Pole. The door leading inside was broken, so they decided to go north to the ruins on the equator in search of a way beneath the surface. Alright, let's see if we can find Rebeck. Anything to be found at Hollow's Lantern. There's nothing really to be found here. It looks like it's really just a 
just a thing to shoot meteors out. Ah, what? Uh, what is that? Oh, is that the place I landed earlier? Looks like it. Huh. But they must have gone somewhere else along the equator. Oh, hey, this is a this looks like a prototype cannon thing. Uh, I've got my suit on. Excellent. Oh shoot, I can't leave this here. this right here. Good enough. Southern Observatory, south 550 meters. Alright, I want to see you. What's up with this probe? Crossroads. Gosh, I was... I really wish I could pull up a map of the thing itself. What is this one for? The shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon. I wish I could travel to it, rather than bring it here. Get the gravity cannon. Let's call the shuttle home. Let's see. That there pro there's probably some uh, research notes on it, so that's what we're going to do. Look at those notes. Selenum, I am here. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole, just that this is true. Huh. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand that they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I'm ready. Okay. Hmm. Was that it? I don't think so. Uh, I forget which way is the launch. That would be recall. That would be... Let's launch. Alright. Let's recall. Alright. There's that. Definitely don't want to launch at that. Looking for the quantum moon is just a, just a big oof. seen this twice, but didn't see the quantum moon once. Ah! Do I want to just continuously look out? Because, like... Uh, if it comes into view, it comes into view, I guess. It's just that I'm going to have to... Yeah. Keep my... Eyes on it, basically. 
whenever it does show up. So I might have to orbit all the way around once or twice for me to see it. And then I have to keep my eyes on it as I approach it. Wait, I what am I doing? Um, I have quantum fluctuations. Ah. Uh, I don't know if that's the one I want. Cave shard. Gosh, I don't know. It's probably better for me to just keep looking out. I suppose it's... I'll be able to detect it if it does show up, maybe. Is that the one we're looking for? Cave shard? That's not the one we're looking for, is it? Cave shard unknown. Cave shard is on, yeah, there. Oh, for goodness sake. Wait, is that the quantum moon or is that something else? Dang it. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh my gosh, this quantum moon thing. I'm definitely wasting my time trying to get to it. Almost definitely. It would probably help if I already knew what some of the other quantum signals were. And then the quantum moon would be the unknown, basically. Alright, what's this? It's there. It's so far away. I should probably go to that quantum shard. God dang it. See, it's... What? Where'd it go? Shoot, maybe that was it. Oh, God. All right. All right. Wasted all that time. I'm certain of it. Uh, what's going on over here? Interesting. So that's what this is. drop into one of these. Alright. And since I wasted all that time, anything that would have been here is gone. There's more to explore with the White Hole Station? I don't think I've missed much. Every time the projection stone, but I've... 
looked at this before, haven't I? Oh, hold on. I think I turned it the long way around again. Really, oh, this would be a way down, but for some reason it's frozen up. All right, what's what's this one about? I feel like I've read this before, like somewhere else, but. All right, from Pi, Raimi and I reviewed the records you sent to Poke, and they appear to show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before depart departing from the Whitehall Station. As I've already told Raimi, these measurements can't be accurate. How can a Nomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. I don't, I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe, we would have to reconsider all our beliefs about the nature of time. Hmm. Yes, I hope so too. Huh. Uh, from Pi, an update. Poke the high energy lab in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. Poke, I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? Alright. this again? Oh, yeah. Right. What is... Oh, that's... That wasn't going to work. Is there something to discover by talking to the people on our home planet again? <laughs> 